All right, on the bench today out of a 2009 Pontiac G6 with a 2.4, we have the 4T45E, front wheel drive, four speed. All right, we got 45,000 miles on this. So what's going on with this is I get an email through the shop's website from a local gentleman around here uh, saying that uh, when he drives the car, he hears some noises, can he bring it in uh, for us to take a look at it? So. He brings the car in, and we definitely hear the noise, and we pick it up in the air, and what we find, which I'll give you a close-up shot, is the case is cracked from here all the way basically to the other side here, all right? And of course, that's right where the differential is. So not really sure what happened, but we are more than likely dealing with a blown diff. We'll see once we get this apart. And I got a case and a diff on order. I have my banner kit already, and I have my uh, the input speed sensor on these transmissions is a very common failure. And there are two different ones between a four and a six cylinder. So if you ever have to order one, make sure you, of course, give them the engine size. All right, so we're gonna take, uh, first I'm gonna do is I'll see if I can give you a close-up shot of this crack from here, I mean, and then I'll swing it around and show you on this side. And then we're going to tear this down, and I'm going to start the process. I do not have the case and diff yet. I have it on order. Uh, it'll probably be a couple of days before I get it, but I can still do the drums, do the valve body, and get everything together. So once I get the parts here, it's just a matter of loading everything into the case, and the transmission is done. So let me get a little closer. Uh, we'll take a fast look at the crack in the case, and then we can start tearing this transmission down and confirm what the problem is. All right, so I'm gonna get a little closer and we will get started. All right, I don't know how well it's coming in, but the crack from here and it goes down and around. Might be a little better on this side. Let me just bring the camera down a little bit. Nice big crack in the case. And it kind of ends like right about there. So, we'll back out and we'll start tearing this down. Oh, and also, just to let you know, up top here is our fill cap, which we're going to take off. It fills through there. And then with the engine running, there is a, a plug that kind of looks like a pressure tap plug right down here, and that is the check. So of course, with the you fill it until it runs out, and then you cap it, start it again, uh, take the cap off and fill it again until it runs out. Let me see if I can just give you a shot of that real quick. That's right here. That's the, that's the, uh, the check plug, and the fill is on top. Okay. All right, just give me one second. Let me just get my uh, tools ready here and we'll begin. Okay, so first let's knock out this axle seal. Zip out this vehicle's uh, speed sensor. All right, it's got a bunch of crap on it, so we know that pan's going to probably be bad. Okay, uh, next is going to be the neutral switch. up a little bit. Okay. Alright, so now I'm gonna I don't think this transmission was drained. 
So I'm sure there's going to probably be some uh, a lot of oil in here. And actually, my bucket under there is full. So give me two minutes. I want to empty it. And we will continue. All right, so I'll be right back. Okay. All right, first we're going to get these two studs out here, 13 millimeter. And then the rest are 10. See a lot of oil here. Three tab washer right there. You got a seal, a seal, and an axle seal. Okay. We're going to take this off, put this aside. under the bed. So here is your pump, manifold pressure switch, valve body, channel plate. Your harness, you have your two shift solenoids here, your EPC solenoid, your lockup solenoid, again your manifold switch. Okay. And this is like part one of the harness. The other part is on the inside that plugs into the input speed sensor. But let's unplug our solenoids. take the uh, pump out first. a seal in here like the and I believe the one that you use for this is the AX4N and that's the seal for the converter. Alright you gotta actually take this thing apart um, it's just a couple of pins tapered pins that are holding it together and there's a ball and spring you know so I, I like to change the seal as part of the overhaul but it's a little bit of uh, of a pain to, to do it, but you know, I feel it still needs to be done. Okay. All right, next, what I want to do is I want to get this uh, tension plate off of here. to take the manifold switch off.
So we've got a bunch of different like bolts on this, but you know, it's not that hard to kind of figure out where they go. You know, big difference there. Okay, valve body. All right, so this will come off. Okay. Drain. All right, so now we can take the pump shaft. I'm going to disconnect the manual valve. Just push this down out of the way. Okay. All right, so I'm going to take this uh, separator plate off. All the check balls are in here. All right, so this here is bonded. The earlier models are not, but this is an 09, so. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm just going to check the locations, you know, when you're working these, because it looks like one may go here, but I don't see it. So just double check your check ball locations, especially when you when you pull it apart and they, they could fall out of place. Okay. So now we're going to take the bolts out for the channel plate, and there's going to be some accumulators with springs behind that that we got to be careful. Uh, we want to keep the right springs with the right accumulators. But let's get the bolts out first. I'm going to take out, put aside, because so I'm going to be putting this in the tank, in the wash tank. All right, so for now, we're just going to leave this like that. This gasket should come off. Okay, here is your input speed sensor and the rest of the harness. You know what I got to get? Right, so I'm going to take this washer off, which goes on the channel plate. The tabs, you know, of course, were facing up, so you grease it and stick it on the channel plate. Okay. I have to get the O-ring off to get the sprocket out, which I didn't do. Okay, here's another check ball that fell out. That was somewhere. All right, so let's just take the O-ring off of here. Okay. All right, now, I'm gonna take the snap ring off because this, this piece here, which is the seal for the axle, the, the inner, uh, where the axle seal rides, like the, you know, inner race, so it doesn't leak. Uh, and that's kind of like pressed on, so we got to kind of pry that thing off. So we really got to do that in order to get the sprocket off because it won't go past it. So let's get a couple of... Okay, now let's just try to loosen this thing up here.
There we go. So these come new in the overhaul kits. Okay, now we can go ahead and take the sprockets out. Okay, and we got a washer, plastic washer here. Okay. here. All right, let's get this in put. Okay, that. All right, let's take this out. Center support. Couple ceiling rings, intermediate piston, intermediate clutches. First input drum. Let's get the band. Okay. Take this whole assembly apart here. Okay, planetary. Gonna get the ring gear. It's also the forward clutch hook. Okay, forward. Three tail washer that actually goes on here. Okay. There's a band. All right. Okay. So next thing, all right, so we have a snap ring in there. Let me see if I can get the snap ring out, but then we gotta drop the pan because it has those feed tube assemblies. The feed pipes, which are bolted to the center support to feed the forward clutch. And then we can slide the diff out see what happened but you know overall well I got to see what the pan looks like but you know transmission only has, has uh, 45,000 miles on it so I'm not really sure what happened I don't know if one point if it uh, you know maybe wound it up in the snow or I was trying to get this snap ring out it's a pretty thick snap ring in here bent tabs on here okay those tabs are gonna face up the way that the transmission is the opening is at like the six o'clock position on the bottom so the two openings would go down there okay now we got to take the pan down Second, please. Okay, back with you. Last bolt. And let's take a look at what the pan looks like. Woo! Ooh, that's bad. 
filter out. Okay. There's the back of the filter all loaded up with metal. All right, so we're gonna take these pipes out. I'm gonna take like this thermal element, I'll just pop right out. And let's take the pipes out. That's held in with eight millimeter bolts. Another common problem is these break. And I know I tore one or two of these down and that was the problem. So that's another critical point. That should be changed. Okay, I have O-rings and everything, but I usually change these and the new one comes with O-rings. Okay. All right, so now we have uh, the uh, accumulate, uh, servos for the, the low band and the overdrive band. Those out. Okay. That will all clean up. Get this one. Okay, now let's pull this diff out. Spray in here, low spray. This is what the forward drum rides on. All right, there's also a bearing down here. This is all held together in the park gear. So we're held together with a snap ring. I'm going to pull that apart and clean it up. And this is like the rig here is uh, everything is frozen together. Probably the ring gear cracked and cracked the case is what happened. this thing out somehow so I can show it to you I'm gonna try uh, give me a few minutes I'll be right back all right well I got this out the ring gear is split so that's really not moving and that's obviously what broke the case when these gears broke up it must have jammed it and and split the case all right there's just a bearing under here is so let me get organized here this I should be able to clean up this sh I shouldn't have to change that he's probably going to give me the the whole setup with, with, with that but um, let me get cleaned up here get rid of some of the oil and we'll take apart uh, we'll look at the clutches and um, in the drums and take this big section apart here. Ugh. A couple of clutch drums in there. And then uh, that's it. All right, so uh, give me a few and I'll, uh, I'll be back. 
Okay, let's take a look at the forward clutch drum. So our clutches are probably going to be okay. I mean, the fact that there's only 45,000 miles on it. Uh, yes, these are good. Okay, there is, again, spray grace. Want to make sure this is good. Band rights on here. Make sure this is good. Okay, here's reverse. Okay, that look good as well. Now we got a washer here and a sprig for the intermediate clutch. Okay, make sure there's no ring grooves here. That looks good. This will put here. This will put here. That's reverse. And you know what I can do also? Let's take the... I'm going to take the return springs out. I'm going to get the snap ring out. And then the molded piston. Molded piston is pretty much throughout. All right, so we're going to take this apart. We got the coast clutch and the direct clutch in this setup. snap ring out. So there's a, another bearing here, so this should lift out, and the coast clutch is in here. This also is a sprig. Okay, these little suckers, everything looks good. Then we have a plastic washer and a bearing that goes on this side. Also, there's special tools to install these rings. Uh, you put the ring on, then you put the resizer on. If you don't have it, you can probably put a clamp around it. Just make sure everything fits into the center support okay. You know, make sure that it goes down okay. And I guess that's about it. You know what, I think somebody is here. Give me one second and we'll finish it up. Okay, so once again, real quick. Valve body. Got the two shift solenoids, EPC solenoid, lockup solenoid. All right, I actually took the harness out. Here's the input speed sensor, very common, high failure. Again, there are two different ones, four and six cylinder. Uh, again, the feed pipes here. Uh, always change these uh, another that's between that and the input speed sensor probably the two most common problems lots of big reason why we get these jobs in all right then we have our accumulators here now the accumulator the pin is going to stay in there so we just have to get these accumulators out and they'll get new seals just kind of show you what they look like just mark where they go some of these have springs on the other side. 
like this one, will have a spring. And some of them may not. This one may not have a spring. It does not. Okay, so just keep everything, you know, together as it comes out. And that's it. 2009 Pontiac G6 2.4 4T45. We got a blown diff crack case from a split ring gear. So I got my parts coming. Uh, probably in a couple days, but what I'm going to do now is I just finished up a 62 TE and a 6F35. So for today, I'm going to finish uh, breaking this down, clean everything up. I'm going to do the drums, prepare the valve body, and then when the case gets here, it's just a matter of putting it together. Uh, and that's it. I'm going to get a converter on order. I don't have that on order yet, but um, I'm in pretty good shape here with stuff to do. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next one.